Hello and welcome back to These Blind Eyes 6580. Today I'm going to be making some habanero hot sauce. And this recipe I got from Pepper Joe's, just like that uh, ghost pepper relish slash hot pepper relish that I did a video on. Uh, there's no videos on this because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so I basically will go over the ingredients, what I do as far as mixing the ingredients up, stuff like that, and show you the finished product. Uh, I, I don't really feel the necessity to make video on me slicing up peppers and cleaning the seeds out of peppers or pulling the stems out of the habaneros or spending a lot of time with the blender turned on. I mean, I'm not Paula Dean and I'm not doing a cooking show. It's just a quick how-to video. So, uh, I go over the recipe in the next segment and what to do with it. So... There's no cooking. You don't you don't really have to cook this. I mean, you got to cook some of the ingredients that go in it, but when you mix it up, it's done. Unless you're wanting to can it. That that that'll be on you, but when when it's mixed up, it's done. You can put it in the fridge and just get at it. So, uh stick with me and uh we'll get right to it. All right. So the ingredients to the habanero hot sauce is 12 habaneros, one large onion, two carrots it calls for one lime the juice out of it um, I use lime juice out of a bottle I use real lime juice uh, so they say that the equivalent of the lime juice from one lime is two tablespoons which is also equivalent to an eighth of a cup it also calls for six cloves of garlic I use minced garlic so I don't have to mess with the pre uh, press, things of that nature. It makes it a lot easier and it's the next best thing to fresh garlic. So I use minced garlic. One teaspoon is equivalent to a clove of garlic. So uh, if you're going that route, that's going to be six teaspoons. It calls for one half of a tablespoon of salt and it calls for one quarter tablespoon of white pepper white pepper is pretty strong so depending on your tastes you might want to use a little less now what you're going to do is you're going to cook the onion and the carrots you're going to peel them cook them until they're soft and then you're going to put them in a blender and you're going to add your ingredients to it one last ingredient eight tablespoons of white vinegar which is half of a cup. So I doubled mine, so I had to do the two onions, four carrots, all that good stuff. I've already got it in the blender, as you can see. The, the trick with the habaneros now that you're gonna want is to blanch them. You pop the stems off, you cut them in half, and you get a good hard boil going in a pot of water. Pot of water, hard boil. Drop the habaneros into that boiling water. I count to 30 and then I dump it in the sink into a colander to drain it. As you can see, it kind of makes it a little bit softer. It helps heat it up a little bit to release some of that capsaicin just so it mixes a little bit better. And so I'm gonna put this last one into the food processor. And as much liquid as in this, you're going to want to pulse because not all not all uh, of these blenders that uh, food processors are actually lit like sealed to where liquid won't get out this is going to be thick so once you get it going pretty good it's not going to be as much of an issue as far as it leaking out of the lid Now, just so you know, I've already did a lot of the mixing. I was just getting that last pepper that I was showing. Make sure it's good and mixed up in there. Now, as you can see in this spoon, this is thick. This isn't something you're going to be using on wings or, you know, like dousing stuff with. It, it's going to have to be spread on to whatever you're eating it on. I eat it on pizza. I use a knife to spread it on the top of a slice of pizza. 
I put a spoonful of it, small spoon on top of a hamburger. You can do cheesesteaks, whatever. It is hot. There's 12 habaneros in one batch of this. Since I'm making the double batch, that's right, 24 habaneros in here. So I'm going to get this put into jars and then I'm going to give it a hot water bath to seal it because it's going to be more than what I'm going to eat anytime soon. And so I need to be able to preserve it. So I will be back and show you what the finished product looks like in the jars. All right, I just took these jars out of the hot water bath and from what other people tell me, it looks like nuclear waste. This stuff is hot, so use it sparingly until you know what you're dealing with. But uh, I ended up out of the double batch, I got two pints and two half pints for a total of three pints of this sauce. So uh, it should last a while. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you share it. And I hope you subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, email me at littlemb6580 at gmail.com. That's L-I-T-T-L-E, M as in Mike, B as in Bravo, at, I'm sorry, L-I-T-T-L-E, M as in Mike, B as in Bravo, 6580 at gmail.com. Until next time.